I'm going to give you an illustration of diagnostic reasoning actually in practice. About two months ago, uh, my daughter was ill in the night. And I've been in training now for eight years. I've been qualified eight years. And you get to that point where you suddenly think, oh my God, I'm not quite sure if she's really unwell here. I'm really quite worried about my daughter. She had diarrhea, tummy pain, fever was 41. And I'm going, oh my gosh. And my wife's going, tell me what to do. Now, I'm sure those of you with children will recognize that sort of position. So actually, what I did do is ring my general practitioners in the morning. And boy, was the receptionist difficult. <laughs> I had to mention the word, I'm a doctor, by the way. And she went, oh, right, OK. What we'll do is we'll get you a phone call. Now, I'm at 19 Bowman Street. And actually, the person who then spoke to me on the end of the line is Paul there at the back who was practicing that day. He might have even forgot this by now. So he gives me the advice, he talks me through, and I'm feeling a bit more relaxed. And then he says to me, what about the jump test? And suddenly, bang, in my mind came back this scenario. I remember in my training, there was this thing about rebounding. If you've got this acute abdomen, they used to ask questions like, what's it like in the car? Or in a chow, what's it like if they jump up and down? And what had happened is, a, a minute earlier, she'd just come down the stairs, and you know like children do, they just jump off the end of the steps, don't they? And I immediately relaxed. I thought, oh gosh, I feel better, I can manage this. End of the phone call, that afternoon she got better, fever subsided, she felt better, and you know children instantly, they're better, they're running about. However, that evening, about five o'clock, I suddenly said to myself, jump test, where's the evidence? <laughs> you know, they just, I'm an evidence-based practitioner. Let's do some deliberate practice. So I actually <coughs> looked it up on PubMed. Here's the advantage of PubMed. You can do it in your own home. It took me about a minute to find the article. In fact, in the acute assessment of children, the jump test is completely useless. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, right, that's it. The next day I'm back to work. I run into the office, I say, by the way, Paul, do you know that assessment of the jump test? He says, I know. <laughs> I said, what do you mean you know? And he said, well, I looked it up on Medline myself. <laughs> it's completely useless. <laughs> That's how we think, OK? That's evidence-based practice thinking, if you like. Using information, questioning your uncertainty. OK, so we're going to have a bit of fun.